Hello and welcome to this video today where today's example which is a TV with a blue screen. On the back it's a Toshiba and the model number is here. So let's enter this into eBay and see what LED backlights we can get. As usual to access the LED strips we need to remove the back cover and this consists of removing a bunch of Phillips screws so I'm using the electric screwdriver so it's quick and easy. With the final screw out we can now lift off the back cover and reveal the insides. I'll proceed by unplugging the power cable from the power board and then unplugging the speakers from the main board, the Wi-Fi board, and also the infrared receiver. This bottom plastic shroud is next to come off, and once this is removed, it allows us to remove the flexible ribbon cables connecting the T-Con board at the bottom to the main screen. Place this to the side, and then we move on to removing some flip screws at the bottom of the TV, so that we can then take the plastic frame off the TV after we flip it over. I've got the TV on its back now and after continuing to remove a few more screws we can then remove the frame. It comes off pretty easily with some gentle persuasion from the left and right to unclip it and being careful not to crack the screen. I continue by removing the screen board from its housing. There's just some flexi tapes, flexi cables connecting the screen to the board so be quite gentle with this. Once that's done I always grab some painter's masking tape and I tape these boards to the screen so that they're not flopping around so that there's less stress on the cables preventing damage to them. Right, so now the TV is fully prepped for using suction cups to remove the LED screen panel. We place two side by side and then we suck it up and transfer it to the side and keeping it horizontal the whole time so that the screen doesn't crack. There's now another plastic frame and some light diffusing sheets so we can remove the plastic frame by using a flathead screwdriver and prying against the tabs that clip in place and this will give us access to the LEDs soon. The light diffusing sheets lift right off, but be mindful to keep them all in the same order. There are some press fit clips holding this white reflective sheet on, so I'm just trying to access them from behind and pull them out, and then we can pull off this white reflective sheet and access the LEDs, take the old ones out and put the new ones in. And voila, here we go. The LEDs are revealed and we can take these off and put new ones in. I use the flathead screwdriver to get beneath the strip and then try and wiggle it to pry off the old strips. These are bonded with some double sided tape so they are quite tight. I've got my replacement strips laid out along the bottom, I'll put these onto the TV and then we'll have to replace two lens which popped off before. Before reassembling the TV I always like to test if the new LEDs are working fine so I'm going to grab the power cable, plug it into the power supply board and switch on the TV at the wall. This should automatically turn the LEDs on and we can ensure that the light coming out is white and the blue tinge is gone. Okay, so that's all good now, but we need to glue on some lenses for the LEDs because two popped off from harvesting these LED strips from a donor TV. Once these lenses are glued down, I'll give it a couple minutes to dry and then I'll use my fingers just to give it a wiggle and make sure they don't come loose. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to grab some tape and tape the LED strips to the metal panel. This is because the double sided tape on the back of these strips aren't as strong as when they were brand new. Now it's just the reversal of removal to put it all back together. So I'll check you on time lapse and see you again when we test the TV out. I've turned the TV on now and you can see the screen's a normal colour. So we'll let it load and then we'll test out a video. It takes just a short while to load up the YouTube app and we can select a video and from the adverts you can see that the image works fine and we have sound. So this TV is fully repaired. Now we're just going to stand it back on its own two feet and then it's good to go. So thanks for watching, I hope you've learned something, so please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.